Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I want to show you something pretty interesting. So this is an adapter and it's actually a booster. So this is for the purpose of getting 12 volts to your equipment here, kind of like a light or a monitor from a power bank. So let's take a closer look at it. So it just comes in a pretty generic little box. Let's crack it open and see. So this is how it comes in. It's not packed, unfortunately, but that's okay, I guess. It's just a cable with a little box and it has pretty huge writings on here that say 5 volts to 12 volts. So they really want you to know that, you know, what this thing can do or what it does. So essentially here you got a USB plug, you know, then your power goes through here. Then this little box here boosts it to 12 volts and puts it out. And I think it's supposed to do about 1 amp 12 volt output. So it's not going to run a heavy load, but it'll definitely run most of the things that you have that's video related or photography. So you will need a high output bank to run this thing, meaning like something that can do 2 amps, 2.1 amps at least, because you know power has to come from somewhere. So if you just give it 1 amp, I think it'll you know not deliver what it was designed to do. So in any case, so what else we have here in the box is looks like a couple adapters. So it's kind of nice they included. It looks like two adapters to go to a smaller pin and a larger one looks like. So it's nice that you got a few options here with the provided little plugs here. So, so but I think this one is the universal one that will pretty much work on anything. And we'll find out here in a second. So let's see how long this guy is. So it looks like we have a couple feet on each end here as you can see. So it goes up a pretty good way, at least four feet, maybe a little more. So we're gonna run a couple options today. We have a monitor here that can run off of 12 volts, 12 volt input, right over here. And we also have this video light here that can run, you know, just about any voltage, honestly, up to 15 volts. And I think it runs as low as five or six volts or something like that, anyways. It will run on just about anything. So let's go ahead and try the light first. So this should fit in here. Yeah, and it does perfectly fit. All right, so here we have a power bank. It's kind of like a little solar power bank. All right, so let's plug this guy in and let's see if we can hit the power button on this light here. You guys can see. And it works. So we are running from this guy here. So as you can see, guys, this could be very, very useful. The big selling point for this guy is that you, power banks are pretty cheap to buy because there's a bunch of them you know and you can get them on sale and whatnot else and they're just a good deal you know but buying extra batteries and battery packs for for this kind of gear you know ends up being expensive plus it's a lot easier to charge a battery bank because it's pretty much accessible micro usb anywhere but you know if you have the sony batteries here to charge then you're gonna have to have the special charger and you know this kind of opens the possibilities of a little bit more flexibility here Oh, with this guy so you know and it's just nice to have it just to throw it in your bag just in case you do have a flat battery you can still run it or something like that you know whatever you need to run so let's go ahead and try to put this thing full brightness and see what happens okay so no it died okay so it's not able to pull the full brightness I'm not sure about this battery pack here it might be because of it all right so it looks like that can't pull it I guess that's too much power for it and kind of makes sense you know these things are pretty bright and it's 15 watts so at 1 amp 12 volts that's only 12 watts so it kind of makes sense why it can't go all the way up there so as you can see it's a little bit limiting so but at 15 obviously this is pretty bright kind of already no, I don't know if you can guys tell or not but Let's see if I, let's just go up to like, so I guess these LEDs are a lot more power hungry than I thought. So I think running it at a lower rate would work better, so. But in any case, you guys get the point. I'm kind of curious if it can run this monitor because that's, uh, you know, kind of important thing to run. And I don't think a monitor takes that much power, but I could be wrong. So let's plug it in and see. So go ahead and plug it here. And it should be powered on here. Oh, there it goes. So it does work. So I guess for a monitor, this is ideal. Because, you know, monitor doesn't eat that much power compared to, you know, 
a bunch of LEDs, I guess. So I guess this thing is a little bit limiting in what it can do, but it seems like it would be great just for, you know, the smaller things, you know, either a smaller light, a monitor, or whatnot else. You know, anything that consumes about one amp or less at 12 volts, this seems to be the ideal amount. I'm not sure if maybe my bank here can't put out the power. That's very possible, because these Chinese cheap stuff, you don't know what they do. It says here in the back that it can do one 2.1 amps so but even at 2.1 amps if it actually is putting that out so that's not even 10 watts probably by the time all the losses happen so yeah we're probably talking about you know only 8 watts or less compared to this demanding 15 watts here so it makes sense why it can't go up too high but the monitor seems to have no issues whatsoever so that's great and here's kind of a perfect scenario here guys is that you know you have your monitor running off of this thing and at the same time, you know, you can be charging your camera. So essentially, you got two things going on. You got the monitor running off of the bank, and you got the camera that's feeding off of the bank too. So you can record for three hours or more, you know, off of this bank here. So this is kind of a good setup where you can put it on a stand or whatnot else and, you know, sit there and record all day. So as you can see, how this could be useful. So yeah guys, this is a pretty unique little booster here. Alright guys, so that'll be it for this video. If you want to pick up this little guy here, I'll leave a link in the description. It's pretty cheap, I think. It's under $10, like $8 or something. So if you have anything that runs off of 12 volts or in that range, this could definitely, you know, maybe be useful for you. I can definitely see using it for the monitor if I ever needed to and for this light here. So, alright guys, so if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos guys cameras here the monitors the lighting and all that good stuff so check those out and if you enjoy content like this guys and you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button and as always guys thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace